I think I'm gonna solve this from using a table. Mike might wanna make a table for his customers anyway. Let's say here is the cost and here's the time in hours. And he has here four hours and forty-five dollars. And now I can think about these different time periods. For example, two hours. Oh, let's put two hours here. One hour, half an hour, and the two and a half hours that we need to know. So for two hours, it would be half of that. It would be 22.50. For one hour would be half of that, which is 11.25. And then for half an hour, it would be half of that which would be $5.62, actually $5.65. And now, if I take the half an hour and two hour amounts, I can add those and get the final amount. There's $28 and $28.125, you have to round that to $28.13. Okay, so problem solved. A car can travel 100 miles with 4.23 gallons of gas, so how far can it travel with 7 gallons? This time I'm going to write the proportion like here. And uh, so I put my first ratio here, something over something. I can put either the miles over gallons or gallons over miles. That actually does not matter. But usually people talk about miles per gallon, so I'll put miles on top. 100 miles per 4.23 gallons and then in the other ratio we have the unknown we just know the gallons but we don't know the miles so this can be unknown amount of miles to 7 gallons okay that's my setup for the proportion and this step is very very important that you set it up right because if you don't then you will get it get the answer wrong notice that the gallons are, in both cases the gallons are in the denominator and now I cross multiply okay my unknown gets multiplied by 4.23, so I will get 4.23 gallons times x, and on this side 100 miles times 7 gallons. You can keep those units, gallons and miles there if you want to, or you can drop them if you are sure what your answer will be. I, will, I am sure that my answer will be in miles, okay, so I, can, I will just drop the gallons and miles from this calculation. Here I get 700 and here is 4.23. I need to divide both sides of the equation by 4.23, so it will be 700 divided by 4.23. Okay, and the answer for this is 165.5 miles. Lastly, if it costs $2.40 to purchase 125 screws, how many would you get with $6? This I'm going to solve in two different ways. One way is kind of like the table, but I'm going to go this way instead of horizontally. Let's say that we have 125 screws and that is $2.40. Okay? That corresponds with $2.40, that's what this line is meaning, it corresponds with that, okay? And then, how many would you get with $6? Well, let me see that I, let's see that I first double this. That would be 250 screws for $4.80. But, of course, that's not $6, I need some smaller amount. If I add $1.20 to this, then I would get $6, right? And that happens to be half of my original amount. So that will work beautifully if I take half of this, which is 62 and a half screws. I know you can't get half of a screw, but anyway, let's keep it here for the calculation for now. And now I add these two last ones that I have to get $6 here. And then add these two and we will get 312 and a half screws. Which, if you are the merchant, you need to either round it to 312 or 313 screws. And now, also, I'm going to write a proportion. If I write a proportion, I can put either screws per dollars or dollars per screws. Either way, it'll work. 
Of course, it's normal to put screws per dollars, right? It's more usual. But it won't matter which way you do it. And then over here, you just have to put, since the money amount is on the bottom, put the money amount here on the bottom too, on this side. And then your unknown. So I will cross multiply 240 times x equals 6 times that. Like that. And now x equals that number, which is 750 divided by $2.40. And you should get the exact same answer, of course. Okay. Okay, we're all done and I hope this was helpful.